Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Jess Cruising. So as we mentioned in our previous video, today we're going to be doing a, a studio tour. But first, wanted to stop by to get some energy drinks to get the day started right. Yeah, for sure. Um, We were actually meaning to do this video last week, but both yeah. my brother and I got pretty sick. I don't know, like some stomach virus or something, right? Yeah, stomach virus for sure. Yeah, yeah but we're all good now, so um, we're getting it done this week. And we were actually meaning to go plant shopping because we have some planters around the studio that are empty. Mm -hmm. Just didn't like how it looked, but honestly, it's getting a little bit cold. And right now, it wouldn't be the best time to go because I just wouldn't want them to die because the studio gets pretty cold. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to resort to plan B. We're actually on our way to Target right now to pick up one of those cool Lego plants. I think uh, we pretty much have them all, but the yeah. one we're trying to get is the, the orchids, right? No, oh, no, the, no, no, the birds of paradise. Bird, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have the orchids, but yeah, the birds of paradise. And we have a cool little spot in mind for that. So yeah, let's go get that done and get the day started. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if you guys have seen them before, but uh, hopefully they have it in stock. We're about to go check it out and we'll show you guys in a bit. Catch let's you guys go. right now, let's go. All right, so we just picked up the birds of paradise. Let's get to the studio and get this built. All right guys, so we actually just got here, but uh, before we show you guys around, we're actually gonna get this thing built real quick, but don't worry, we're gonna try the YouTube uh, snap of the finger trick, and hopefully it should all be done. Let's give it a shot. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute, that didn't work out. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's give it another go. Oh, there we go. That's more like it, that's more like it. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that was kind of cringe, but let's get to the studio tour. Um, honestly, it's a pretty small place, but it really is all we need since it's only three of us here. But starting off, this is kind of like the entrance area. Pretty basic stuff. We just have our sink right here and a little storage cabinet. But uh, yeah, boring stuff. Same thing over here, just like the printing section. Mm -hmm. And coming along this way, this is kind of like the first little section. This was supposed to be kind of like the waiting area. Uh, yeah, people just sit here and stuff, but uh, honestly, nobody really ever sits around to wait. But in the case that they need to, I guess this is where that goes down. But um, over here, this plant is really cool. It's actually been here since we got the studio. What, what would you say, like how long ago? Like almost three years, right? Yeah, almost three years, yeah. So yeah, so this plant is cool because it's what we use for like all of our photography and stuff and it comes out in the background for a lot of our pictures. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'll, I'll tell people to like kind of put their arm in front of this and I'll be snapping pics that way. But um, I really love this plant because it survived, well, yeah, I would say almost like three winters, yeah. including with, with this one that's coming up. So I love this plant and, and we have these over here and usually there's more plants in there, but these are the ones that have survived. And let's see, cool thing about this too, we had this one at our other studio, but um, we had just like a very small little room, but it was really one of the first things we bought when we were decorating that other place. And we felt it really fit the vibe over there and it kind of did the same over here. So we wanted to bring it along. It's really nothing special. I mean, it's just kind of like a world map. But yeah, I think we even got it on sale, right? <laughs> yeah, it was like five <laughs> bucks or something. It was all beat up. <laughs> Honestly, it was like on the floor at this store at home. So. Yeah, we picked it up because we liked it and it's hanging around till up until today. So, yeah. I mean, now, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, moving on. This is uh, just a little little display thing. Honestly, this is kind of like miscellaneous stuff. It's really uh, stuff we just kind of found around and thought it would be cool to put there. Um, this candle though has also survived since like the other studio. We stopped lighting it as soon as we got over here because I haven't been able to find another one. It was at uh, the World Market and the World Market here in El Paso closed down. And I've never been able to find it ever since, but it's literally like one of my favorite candles. I've never smelled uh, like another one like it. So. Yeah, it's, uh, what is it, Blue Agape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's really uh, cool. Honestly, I've even tried to look for it online and I haven't found it, but yeah, other little things like I love tequila and this is a cool limited edition bottle right here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just little stuff like that. And also another funny thing about this right here, our neighbors who have a hair salon next door um, had it outside for weeks. And I think like around that time it was raining and stuff like that. So um, they just had it out there and we asked them like what they were planning to do with it. And they just said we could have it. So we <laughs> threw it in here and honestly it went, it's kind of wobbly and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. but it's cool. And yeah, just a simple mirror here. And that's pretty much it for this section. Let's get to the rest of the studio. All right, so now we're moving on to the to my area. This is where I tattoo here. You know, I have a, this, uh, it's a massage table, but it gets the job done. It has like the, the back kind of like lifts up a little bit so you can be kind of a little bit more relaxed while you're getting tattooed. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Over here, well, this is where we put the, the Lego we just built. Yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, what do you think? Nah, I think it looks sick right there. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, um, before we talk about what's back here, I want to talk a little bit about these. 
These were actually uh, built by my by my brother and I. Uh, kind of like a DIY project we put together. We just got stuff from like Lowe's, Home Depot, even Amazon, you know, right for this for this twine here. And uh, funny story is that when we were building these, we kind of were just doing it like in our garage. And uh, yeah, like we were just uh, staining all the wood and we didn't have really have any like air, air uh, filtration or anything. So we were getting a little bit lightheaded and stuff. No, we got high, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty bad. But then um, we, and then we ended up bringing all the wood here and we assembled it, everything here. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's why, I mean, I guess you can tell it's not the best build, but I mean, I think it's pretty cool. We kind of wanted some, some division between like the stations. And I think, I think it's a job done pretty well. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah I think it looks sick. Yeah, I'll tell you that. All right, coming over here. Uh, here I have uh, some bear bricks, and uh, for those of you that don't know, bear bricks are uh, these little like Lego bear-looking figures. They're made by a Japanese company called Medicom Toy, and uh, they do like a lot, like a bunch of different themes, which I think is pretty cool. That's why I like collecting them because they all look the same, but then they're all like kind of you know different. Like for example, this one here. This is Jay Baldwin, and then we have Paddington the bear here, and then coming this way we have uh, the Mandalorian. This one here is very special. Uh, this one actually only came out in Japan. Uh, I ended up getting it on eBay, you know, but I mean, it was a must have for the collection. So I had to bring that one home. And this one here, another one by one of my favorite artists. So I just, uh, I got that one recently, maybe like a couple months ago. For uh, this one here, this was pretty cool. It was actually a gift from my brother. Uh, it's pretty funny because um, the, I, I guess it kind of represents us in a way because whenever I have like a very like long tattoo session, like my back is killing me, I'm pretty much dead, you know? So it kind of shows like me right here, you know? Beat up, tired, and my brother just helping me out. <laughs> just pretty funny stuff. And then, oh, actually, uh, uh, we're, we're gonna go back just so I can show you guys some other collectibles we have over here. So yeah, yeah. I, I, that's one thing about my brother and I, we, we love collecting all kinds of stuff. And you know, bear bricks and like designer toys are just part of it. Uh, well, I guess also Legos, you guys saw a little bit of Lego also. But over here, we have another one down here. This is uh, another bear brick. It's a collab with um, uh, Disney and Keith Haring. So that one's pretty cool. We got that one on a trip, right? Was it uh, San Diego? Yeah, we went to San Diego. Yeah, and then this one here was also pretty cool. Like a lot of people like this little thing. They're like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, it was a gift as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. And then this one here, we, uh, I was, this one I was actually pretty lucky to get it when it, when, it, when it came out. And we ended up getting like this little cool acrylic case custom made for it. I don't know, it's pretty cool stuff. I just, we, we really enjoy having like a, different types of collectibles, you know, here and there. People think it's interesting. Whenever they see them, they're like, oh, what's that or whatever. So this is where I keep all like my, uh, my tattoo equipment, like all my, my, uh, my ink and the machine, all that stuff, it's all here. You know, normally, I guess, you know, you, people are more used to seeing like the, like the toolboxes to keep all their stuff. We kind of wanted to do something a little different. So we went with like just furniture. This is like, well, like an entertainment center. Where you yeah, like, like an entertainment yeah, center. Yeah, where you put like TVs. a TV or whatever. I don't know, just something different to kind of fit the vibe a little more, you know, we, got, we don't want to have like a, a toolbox randomly here and like kind of throw off the vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, uh, well, um, down here, this, this plant is actually from our old place. This is where we used to do, this, it, it used to be the background for like a lot of our photography back then. We just still have it here. And well, we have a mini fridge here. It's, it's fully stocked right now, thankfully. So you guys can see that. And uh, uh, for some reason, people only like to take water, but you know, we have all kinds of stuff. We have cokes and sparkling <laughs> water. All kinds yeah, of on, honestly, if you come to the studio, feel free to grab some cokes or something. I swear everybody only gets water, and we're always like, dang, nobody's taking the cokes. Like, so yeah, just, just grab whatever you want yeah. if you pull up. Yeah, for sure. And then, uh, well, down here, this is my, uh, my dad's uh, uh, tattoo station. Same, same kind of setup, honestly, for the most part. You know, he has the bed and everything going on. Uh, you know, uh, I guess one thing about like this whole studio is that it's kind of still like a work in progress for us. Like we always like to keep like, you know, up, uh, changing uh, things around. So they say we get new stuff, we kind of like to switch it around and stuff or add new things every now and then. So it's kind of like how you can see here, he only, he only has a few things up there. He has a few uh, Funko Pops, like I think uh, Demon Slayer and stuff like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, like kind of same, same basic setup over here yeah same basic setup and everything and um well you know it's you know i guess now with the time change and everything kind of wish i could show you guys like the view we have but it's like literally 6 p.m right now and it's already the pitch black yeah. outside so it's kind of like you know missed missed opportunity right there but 
It's all good. We actually had our dad help us out and put some of those vines up on the roof as well. Kind of for like if someone's laying down, you could be looking at some vines too. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. And really when we moved in here, that's one thing that I really wanted to see. I wanted to see a lot of green, like a lot of plants. Um, just because I feel like it provides kind of like a relaxing environment. Especially if it's your first tattoo, you know, you, some people already come in nervous and stuff. And I mean, so far it's really worked out. We've had people fall asleep multiple times. It actually happens. It actually happens quite often. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a small place. It's just us three here. But um, so far, really happy with the response we've gotten from a lot of our clients. They, they really enjoy it. And I mean, that makes us very happy to hear because when we first moved in here, there was nothing like we pretty much had to put this whole place together. But um, yeah, really happy how it's worked out. How my brother said, it's still like a work in progress for us. Like we are always switching stuff around and bringing new stuff in, taking old stuff out. So. Yeah, that's why we kind of wanted to show you how everything is now. So you guys can also see, I guess, like how it evolves with, with time, you know? For sure. Yeah, yeah. and um, that's pretty much it for this. I mean, we do have a cool little uh, like hangout area on the third floor of, of this whole building we're in. So uh, yeah, we wanted to go and check, check that out uh, so, so you guys can see that too. So yeah. let's get up there and let's show you guys. just a little chill spot anybody could come up here and I mean people have little picnics and this little table all the time and it's open to anybody so if you live in the El Paso area uh, pull up I know for sure myself I didn't know about this little spot uh, until we actually moved into the building so it was pretty cool just hanging out here sometimes but yeah for sure yeah it's a pretty cool hangout spot you know people come out here have little dates and yeah we, we've even seen like some like weddings go down here honestly <laughs> oh yeah right? yeah uh, and this whole building is like kind of like on the artistic side so people use this place for like photography and stuff like that and even like before we moved in I felt like we really fit into this place so honestly it's just a blessing for us to be here and we're really happy about it for yeah. sure all right guys so that's pretty much it for the studio tour we really hope you guys enjoyed it and you know we kind of did this video because we wanted to show you guys like where we work and everything just in case you guys you know follow us on Instagram and you wanted to see kind of like how how it goes down or whatever but uh yeah I mean I think we're gonna head back home right like we're yeah we're done. gonna head back home and pretty cool stuff I mean we were just talking about bear bricks and um a few days ago we received one in the mail oh that's right so um that's right. we were actually thinking that it would be cool to unbox it for the video I don't know just a little extra thing to do so yeah. let's get home and do that but appreciate mm -hmm. you guys watching this far <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure we'll catch you guys right now let's go all right guys so we're back home now we're just gonna unbox the bear break real quick so we can show you guys uh, what it is it actually came in the mail uh, a few days ago i had pre-ordered this like at the beginning of the year but i had totally forgotten about it but yeah let's check it out and see what we can see it all right. all right so you got the godzilla bear brick oh sick yeah actually i just remember why i got this one it actually has a pretty cool feature let me show you guys real quick i'm gonna take it out Dang, that looks sick. Yeah, so this one is actually uh, partially clear, so you can see through it in some areas. That, that was really cool. And I was thinking about getting like the regular one, but then this one came out, so I was like, yeah, this one's definitely way cooler. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you guys enjoyed our studio tour, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. We're out. <laughs>